Insurance Paladins trivia question. Burma will look to extend its current win streak versus Presbyterian to 15 games today. And we will tie the longest current win streak on the head over which school? A, William and Mary. B, B and I. Or C, Charleston okay. Southern. Hey, Be sure to visit the Farm Bureau Insurance okay. Display located okay. at the okay. Hope Side Concourse before the fourth quarter to register to win a game. You got to cover two, you got to run with the bird. Remember that. Farm Bureau Insurance, I'm trying to get that behind. Winners are running back. Okay, what blocks you get? Slow, right? Did a lot of work, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, now, understand this now, if we're going to the three-minute side. Billion in lottery funding has been appropriated to support Oklahoma Bar in South Carolina since 2002. For more information on how the chances you take provide chances for students across the state, visit sceducationlottery.com today. Go Paladins! More than two billion in lottery funding has been appropriated to support education. Now, we got to win to the three in the box, the three in the inside to that side. Whoever's to the two-man side in the side, we got to win that side. Welcome back to Furman I hope you enjoyed that little segment there with Coach Lindsey working on the sidelines in the Presbyterian game as the Paladins were battling to defeat the Blue Hose. And now they're getting ready to head down to Charleston to take on the Citadel Bulldogs. Big challenge for the Paladins as they take on a very vaunted offense that hung 566 yards on Old Dominion, a big playoff team last year that has moved up to FBS and they did most of it on the ground. They've got the National Player of the Week in Ben Dupree, their quarterback, and also their fullback, Darian Robinson, ran 24 times. He had 227 yards in that Old Dominion game. The Paladin defense, who have only two seniors as starters, have a big challenge this weekend, but our players say they're up to the challenge. Well, you know, they're always a good team, so you know, we've, got, we've got to continue to have a good week of practice get better every day and and just we have to we have to execute to win their defense they got a, they have pretty good defense really good defense a lot of good players um, they're old they got some a lot of returners um, so you know like I said you know we're gonna have to execute to, to win the game well it's Southern Conference challenge you know big rivalry and they've got a lot of older guys on their defensive line they've played a lot of football so it's gonna be a lot of experience versus a lot of experience and just a a good, just big, nasty fight out there. So. They hung 58 on Old Dominion and lost. I mean, after that, you got to say, what do you got to do to win a football game? Yeah, it's weird. I mean, they, they scored that many against Old Dominion, and then they scored 10 against Wofford. So it's like, you know, which team's going to show up? And so it's, it's crazy that they can score 58 with the triple option, but I don't think it's anything we can't handle. Uh, you know, Robinson likes to get on the edge, uh, stretch it out east and west, and, you know, we've just been putting the emphasis on uh, getting the ball going east and west and preventing them from going north and south. So, you know, getting a good push up front, uh, linebackers are going to have to play assignment football. But, you know, if everybody plays their assignment, then we should have a good shot at winning. Uh, biggest part is just carrying that momentum. You know, beat PC, uh, had an off week. You know, a little time to recover, but also put in some extra work uh, going towards Citadel. So it's just carrying that momentum over to the game. And, you know, if we play like we need to, we should have a good shot at winning. Okay, excited about this weekend, going down to Charleston to play the Citadel. Um, always a very tough opponent. Um, you know, it's going to be a tremendous challenge and great opportunity for our football team. First Southern Conference game. I know both teams are going to be excited and ready to play. Uh, Fans are going to be excited and, and ready to see the game. So, six o'clock on Saturday. You know, of course, Citadel's play two Southern Conference games. Uh, first one for us. So, uh, you know, a, a lot on the line when you get, you know you're playing in conference, and we got to get uh, made. I think have made some improvements in the last couple weeks uh, since we played last, and uh, you know we're, we're about ready to find out on Saturday. got to defend. You've got the whole wide side of the field there and they just kind of tried to catch him off guard but PC was slanting into it and right here I think he's maybe a screenplay right here something to try to catch him off guard. Third down and goal from the six out of the shotgun. Hannon will fake the handoff. He's going to keep it running left. Got a block from Cameron Mason into the end zone. Touchdown Paladin. Well he Carried out the fake on two or three plays like that in this drive this time. 